is lit. lit. Just take a look at the drip. You boys don't get fired. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. Now this video we're gonna look at the brand new skin in the game. A very cheap skin by the way, it's about two, three, four, five dollars. It's an extremely cheap skin and I think you guys might not like it. I like it, I'm not against it, I think it looks pretty cool overall. Now also guys, before we hop into the video itself, I do want to remind you that my giveaway is coming to an end tomorrow, so you still do have some time to enter into it. It is going to be for 3 battle passes for 3 different people, all you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications and then leave a comment with your in-game name or your email address so I can contact you if you do win. And then finally guys, my sponsor GoTroller is giving away a controller which you can use to play Call of Duty Mobile. And all you have to do to enter into that giveaway is subscribe to their channel. The link's down in the description and also subscribe to mine. Anyway guys, hop right into this video. So here it is, the Special Ops 1 Scarlet King Snake. Now obviously you guys can see it is just the Special Ops 1 with a coat of red paint. But I think it's pretty cool. I know a lot of people are going to say it's a budget skin. It's not cool. It's not unique. It is just this skin but red. It's the first skin you get in the game but in my opinion it actually looks pretty cool. I'm not against that at all. I've got the brand new Lunar backpack on the back and I think it's actually pretty nice looking. Definitely not against it especially if the price is so cheap. It's about two dollars or five dollars around that price range. I think it's a pretty cool deal especially that it is guaranteed. Now yesterday we got this. This brand new free Arctic Special Ops 3 skin. It is cool looking, but then again, it's not my favorite character. I don't really like Special Ops 3. When I started playing this game, the only skin I used was this skin over here, the Special Ops 1. So I really like the Special Ops 1 Scarlet King. So it actually looks very, very cool. Let's deploy it, and I'll show you guys a little bit of a close up. As you can see, the helmet is red and has a kind of like these white lines on it. It does look pretty cool, and I gotta say, it's actually a pretty unique looking skin. I like the soldier skins in the game. I don't mind the weird looking ones, but I like the typical uh, soldier skin in the game. So this does look pretty cool in my opinion. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna hop into a game and I'm gonna show you guys the skin up a little bit closer and just show you how it looks in the game itself. So here is the skin in the game itself and I gotta say, I'm quite a big fan of it. I do have the Lunar backpack on the back and I gotta say the red on red does look pretty good. I am a fan of the skin. Now I wanna know what you guys think of the skin. In my opinion, it's a pretty good budget skin if you don't want to spend money in the game, this is a pretty cheap option to get a new skin that does look better than the normal versions, but it's also not overpriced. It's a pretty easy, guaranteed, cheap skin to go ahead and get, and I do like that about the skin, even though it is a basic skin. So it's basically just the original skin with a color paint on it. It does look pretty good in my opinion. Look at that. I think it does look pretty badass. I really like the red and the white combination. I like white on skins. Normal plain white combined with something else does look pretty good. And with this red over here, plus that backpack, it does go very, very well together. It is a skin that I see myself using going into the forward, like far in the forward, like far in the future. I mean, I will still be using the skin. It does look pretty badass. So I don't think it's a bad deal. The only thing I will say if it does cost more than $5 in your country, then I think it's a little bit overpriced. But if it's below $5 or $5, I think it's a pretty nifty deal. And I really think it is worthwhile to go ahead and pick it up. It does look pretty badass. Like I said, I love the red and the white combination. And then again, I really like how the skin looks itself. Like, I do like Special Ops 1. It is one of my favorite skins in the game. One of my favorite basic skins in the game. So, I am a big fan. They maybe made it a little bit different. And I did see the skin a couple of weeks ago and I was waiting to see when it is coming into the game and how it is going to look when it comes into the game and I'm not disappointed at all I'm actually really really pleased with how it came out so yeah guys that's my two cents on the brand new skin just a real quick video just showing it off a little bit in the game so you guys can get a nice close up look of how it does look when you go ahead and purchase it I do actually think they need to start giving us like this whole thing where we can see how the skin actually looks before we go ahead and purchase it because you can't really get the best of ideas 
of how it's going to look before you purchase it. But that's what it is, guys. This is my two cents on the whole new event deal, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, I recommend picking it up if you want a new skin, but you don't want to spend a lot of money on it. So yeah, guys, that's going to be the video, and I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, smack a like and subscribe to the channel. Anyway, guys, squally out. Have a kick-ass day, and cheers. Bye.